Hello YouTube. Today I want to talk specifically about a new light mounting unit made by Impact Weapons Components out of Colorado. And this particular unit is made for two newer rails that are out on the market um, made by Centurion Arms, which is the CMR rail, and the Lewis Machine and Tool LM8 rail. This particular video we're going to be talking specifically about the offset mounting unit on the left in this video. Um, the Both of the units that you see here are made by Impact Weapons Components. The one on the right is marketed by Haley Strategic Systems or Partners out of uh, uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. And it's specifically the same unit but it has a different mounting system on it and that mounting system on it is for the 1913 Picatinny rail system. Um, the unit on the left is proprietarily mounted on the 12 inch CMR rail that you see here in this video. I've had this for several months now, um, the rail specifically, and so far I really really like it. Uh, light and simple. So here we have the uh, light mount broken down into just two primary sections. On the bottom you have the proprietary mounting section and above it you have the the 1913 Picatinny rail section. The proprietary uh, mounting section at the bottom uh, the back of it is flat faced that would go against your rail. The rail itself or the area that these are mounted on are, is flat itself. On the bottom you have the two um, spots that you put your bolts to connect the two sections to. The Picatinny rail section is about three, three and a half inches long. Um, it's pretty well standard and should fit most if not all of the offset rail systems made by impact weapons components. It has five different areas that you can mount your screws and your proprietary mounting system to. With that in mind, uh, once you figure out what kind of configuration you want it in, you can move the rail section forward and aft of the mounting section itself. That way you can get the most comfortable um, setup that you would like and need. Pretty well uh, easy to fit these sections together. You, the unit itself comes with two mounting uh, screws that you just find the appropriate holes that you'd want them in and screw them in. For this video itself, I would recommend using some blue Loctite to uh, once you get your setup that you wanted and put them on the, the screws and, and put them in. Um, but for this video, I'm not doing that. But I would recommend some blue, blue Loctite. So let's talk specifically about the Centurion Arm CMR rail and its mounting areas. Um, the front of the rail at the 3 and 9 o'clock positions has three interspersed holes on each of the sides that have steel inserts. This impact weapons component mounting system is made specifically for these areas. The rest of the rail, the CMR rail, has uh, mounting areas, but the holes on those areas will not fit the impact weapons components CMR rail mount uh, because the holes are too spread apart. The rail itself with these other mounting areas, um, these mounting holes do not, I repeat, do not have these steel inserts. They are just drilled and tapped. But the three and nine o'clock front positions, the three on those two sides, do have the steel inserts which grab hold of the, uh, the mounting screws that are provided with the, the uh, offset rail mounting system and grab hold of them really tight. Um, so far I have not run any type of blue lock tight on those and have had no type of uh, situations where those 
mounting uh, mounting it without the blue Loctite has come undone. So for the rest of this section here, um, I'm going to speed up the process so you don't have to sit here and watch me screw the uh, two screws in. It's pretty boring. So hopefully by watching this video, it's giving you some new insight into this new offset light rail mount by Impact Weapons components for the CMR rail and the Lewis Machine Tools rail. Um, and using this over the last several weeks, um, it has many advantages to it. It's very robustly made. Um, I can't see it unless you bang it against a hard rock coming off. This unit has does some have some disadvantages to it in the way that the uh, uh, lighting may be set up on it on each of the sides. But other than that, I really like it. Hope this helps, and thanks for watching.